Welcome to Plan Lattes. I'm AJ. In today's video, we are going to talk about three different ways to make your latte at home at three different price points. If that's something you want to see, then do not adjust your screen. Hi, I'm Holly, and I'm going to show you how to make a super cheap and easy latte at home. Your simple ingredients. I use the Nescafe Espresso. Um, I like one sugar cube in my coffee and I have my milk here. I'm using lactose free today. The only other utensil you need besides this microwave proof measuring cup is a whisk, a magic whisk, a aero latte, a whatever you want to call it, this bad boy will do it. So I take from my coffee a level spoon and about a half. I add my sugar cube. Yes, I reuse my container because life. I set my kettle to boil. I'm going to put my milk in the microwave and heat it for about a minute and a half and I'll be right back. Alright, my milk is nice and hot. I'm going to take my frother, I think is the real word, and I'm going to start at the bottom and just turn that on and keep it down at the bottom. You're going to see it start bubbling and then I slowly start bringing it up. This is going to give me that foam that we love so much. And I'm fluffy. I take this and rinse it immediately. My milk is ready. My water's hot. I get my milk ready first because it keeps hot longer. I take my and I'm going to pour in about four ounces. I get that nice crema, just dissolving my sugar cube. You use whatever sweetener you like. And then I am going to take my hot frothed milk, top that up, get my foam because that's what's going to keep my coffee nice and warm. A sprinkle of sugar and cinnamon. That's it. So really all you need for this one, one time purchase of your microwave proof measuring cup, two cup for sure, your frother wand, I get the espresso because it actually tastes like real espresso. It's not bitter, it's not gross, it's frothy, it's, it has crema, tastes amazing, not sponsored, just what I love. I get it on sale, $4.99. I look around. Measuring cup is approximately 10, 10 to 12 bucks in your local store. Walmart, anything like that. These are Canadian prices. And then your wand is anywhere from 10 to 20. Look around, you can get a coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond, pick one up there, you can get it on Amazon, just about anywhere. And that is how I make a simple, cheap latte. Hi. So our second price point of coffee, you're going to need a percolator, and I'm using a stove top foamer. Now these can be a little pricey because there only seems to be one or two brands. So you can use the previous mentioned foaming wand or you can use any other kind of foamer that you can find. There are electric ones, there are glass ones where you heat your milk up and they just have the double frother. This is a stove top made one so you're going to put your milk, which I've already measured out, on the stove. I heat them up separately so that way I don't end up 
burning anything. Easy peasy. So we will be right back once the milk is heated up. Okay, so while our milk is finishing heating, the percolator. Now you can get these about 20 bucks for this size, which is a three to six cup, and then 15 for the one to two cups. So if you're just making for yourself, there you go. If you're making especially for two people, this is great to have. All you need is your espresso, fill the water up, and then when you're going to put it on the stove, make sure you do it with the lid on so you can see when your coffee starts coming out. Okay. Alright, so our milk is heated. I have my espresso on the stove. Yay! So, it's a very complex thing. You're going to put it in and you're going to pump, which, let's face it, looks a little wrong, but <laughs> you get the really good foam. So, once um, that's done, just pop it to your seat. So, as you can tell, this frothing pitcher is actually capable of holding enough for two, which is great. I usually use this to make me a mom coffee in the morning, because while you're running around making breakfast, you have your lattes going, you just check on your heat once in a while, and the percolator will let you know when it's ready. Alright, so our coffee is perky. I'm going to pour it between my cup and a, me and a glass measuring cup, which I'm then going to use after it cools to fill an ice cube tray. So if you are getting a bigger percolator and making coffee for just yourself, you can store it in the ice cube tray until you want iced coffee. We have a audience behind me, a little <laughs> stalker cat. Anyway, so once you have poured your coffee, like I said, set this one aside to cool, and then you can pour it in ice cubes for iced coffee. I already had my sweetener in here. Honey, just a little uh, budget-friendly tip. If you look on nowadays Facebook Marketplace, you can usually find local honey at a really good price. Make sure you stir that in so you don't end up with all your sweetener on the bottom. When you go places. <laughs> and then simply pour your milk and top it. So the frothy pitchers are really good for producing a lot of foam. If you're a person who likes cappuccinos instead of lattes, it's definitely an investment to make. I've already gone over the price point for this, 10 to, 10 to 15 for a smaller one, and then 20 or more for the slightly bigger ones. You can get them on Amazon or at your local Italian stores, which is also where you're, you're going to get your espresso from. We like the La Baza. I personally like to get it from the local Italian market. Not only does it tend to be a better price point, but you're also supporting a local business. Not sponsored. <laughs> Foaming. So our next price point is, of course, the espresso machine. So you can get them for about $150 to $200. Understand, though, you're paying for, you're getting what you pay for. Plain and simple. The $200 one will last you maybe two years. If you use first two methods of making lattes, or even the smaller one, to save up and invest in. This one was about $700 20 years ago, and it still works. If you put the money out into a really good espresso machine, it will last you. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's being a cat. So that is the biggest price point for making at home, but it will last you the longest. So there you have it. Three different price points and three different ways to make lattes at home with a couple extra budget-friendly tips thrown in there. Till next time, have a great day.